democracy. A big word, and it takes a big figure to get to the bottom of it. As Scotland gets set to go to the polls, I, me, Chief Commissioner Cameron Mickelson, am setting off on a substantial journey of discovery. Meeting real people, talking truth to power, grilling party leaders. This is The Chief Does Democracy. A new political era is dawning, and I want to find out what democracy means today. The People's Chief will go wherever, whenever, for you, the People's People. I'll even travel to the scuzzy bits. Challenging candidates. I love Scooby-Doo. Yeah, My well, favourite was Scrappy, of course. No, Scrappy was terrible. Clarifying key details. I'm not a bunny. Exploring the wider political landscape. Look, you can't whack it. You can't whack it, son. I'm meeting genuine voters. Ah, oh, good afternoon, good afternoon. Good afternoon. And funnelling issues back to the party leaders. I am the conduit betwixt people and power. I am the vessel, the pipeline. I am the tube. So let the tube flow. I'm sitting down with leaders representing Scotland's most popular five parties. Faces fresh and familiar, but all equal in the eyes of the lawman. First Minister, we're back together again. We've done this before, of course. I'm speaking to all the leaders, so it's a slightly changed lineup, of course. We're I'm like, still here. You're still here? Well, it's like the sugar babes. We've got, you know, you never quite you know who's in the sugar babes, if you get the <laughs> reference. Um, but we, you're still here, I'm still here. We are great survivors, you and I. Clearly. Yes. Yeah. You're like and, the... and you've had some scrapes in the past year, oh, so it's... Oh, man, uh, we have been sailing close was... to wind. At points, it wasn't a given that you would still be no, here. No, look, look, I mean, I could say the same about you. I'm you not could. going to, <laughs> obviously. I'm not going to say that. They always used to say that, you know, you're getting old when the policemen look young. But I'm having to rethink this. You're getting old when the Labour leaders begin to look young. Because, you know, you're... I... I mean, I've been told, though, that you age very quickly in this job, as long as you survive long enough. I'm just a you're... young... I'm a young pup chief. You know, even though you're young, I wouldn't be... I won't be patronising you at all in any way of treating you <laughs> like a child. What do you think of the new Call of Duty? Do you play it? Or I don't play Call of Duty. I right. do play FIFA, though. FIFA, good. Yeah. And I'm a bit hooked on the Fantasy Football League. Now, Douglas, what a number of our viewers may not know is that actually you run the line. You are uh, an assistant referee, is that correct? Totally. Yep. It's my uh, kind of line of duty uh, to speak about duty. another police God, drama. to reference rather yeah. cleverly, I may say. Yeah. Because I've stood behind you, of course. Everyone knows that you're a I recognise your voice from behind me. No, no, that was not me. <laughs> That was Sh screaming, no, Easter Road, me screaming instructions. Yeah. That was the boy who sounds a lot like me. Very similar. Yeah. You're like you just like a franchise, you're like the Fast and Furious franchise. It's just part one, part two, part three. Yeah. On it goes. What, part ten? How many years have you F been leader? Uh, ten. Ten. Well, there you go. F Fifteen years in various parliaments. I get youthful. The more. The more you do it. it. Yeah. You're not from this country, I believe. That's true, I am an immigrant. Some people are kind enough to call me a new Scot, which I like. A Nova Scotian. <laughs> That's well, slightly different. Slightly different. <laughs> I'm an older Scotian. And how are you finding it? Is it everything OK? I'm all converted now. I yes. drink tea and eat fried breakfasts and things. So I've, I've left my old ways behind. I'm integrated. Salt and sauce or...? Uh, salt and vinegar. Salt and vinegar, Salt and vinegar. Salt and vinegar. I know it's okay. controversial. But there we are. I'll let that one go. A little bit of salt and vinegar. No, salt and sauce. It's salt and mm. sauce, Lorna. <laughs> just stop saying <laughs> Yeah, it. sorry, Chief. No, We're just going to no, have to Lana. disagree. Lorna. <laughs> salt and sauce. Zesty debate needs a chamber to house it. So what is the origin story of Scotia's seat of power? Scotland's parliament here in the Athens of the North, exercising notions of democracy which began in the Athens of Athens, Athens. Scotland's parliament has stood on this ground since all the way back in 2004, situated at the feet of Arthur's seat. Arthur's toenails would stretch into the debating chamber we use today. Now, democracy might be a long-standing concept in Scotland, but I myself have pants older than this building. To truly unpack how our parliamentary democracy has evolved. Me and my pants have journeyed to air races. 
I'm meeting a thoroughbred who has been over the electoral course many times. Seasoned political commentator, Brian Till. Now, we're here discussing democracy. Mm. I mean, to go way back, well, you'd be dinosaurs, you know, lava <laughs> flows, there was no ice ages, all that kind of thing. There was no council then, you know, during the ice age about yeah. where you could slip and slide. So there was really nothing for a long, for a long, long time. But then I think, you might know, 1295, was it? There was the colloquium. 12, 12, 1235. 1235, the, the, the right, colloquium. The colloquium was a big, posh Latin word that means yes. blether. It means to blether. It means to blether, to come together and blether. Now, they, they, they were blethering for a purpose, Chief. Yes. The purpose was to advise the king. Gotcha. So they said basically to the king, Goni no de that, king. And the king said, I'm the king, I'll do what I like. And the parliament moved around. It did. did. It? So it, uh, it wasn't just centred in one place. It, 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 it did. Was... I mean, it was primarily, it was eventually, it was Edinburgh, but I yes. think they held, it was where the king was. If the king fancied going to the races at air, they probably came down here. Very much like me. And, 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 you know, a, a, HQ, of, HQ of the Scottish Police Force is basically whatever I am. Whatever you if are. If I'm on the 60th of Muirfield, that's headquarters. You know Later, same so what. That, the colloquium, we had uh, the, the parliament moving around uh, Scotland, uh, the king being the number one horse, the only runner in the race. Uh, right up until 1707, mm -hmm. Act of the Union, and then that was it. That the Scottish was it. Parliament just kind of petered out. They voted themselves out of existence, Chief. And so then that was it until 1999. Aye, a long break. We had a long <laughs> break. And then um, so there in the back of the drawer, we find it again. We find our Parliament and our democracy. Like that, that bottle opener, a tin opener, you thought you'd <laughs> lost. There it is. Uh -huh. these, these days we have a parliament of people, we have democracy, you have people elected who some of them could, could hold down top jobs in yes. business and the professions and some of them you wouldn't send for a message. But then that's the nature sure, of democracy, that's the choice that's, that's placed before that's, you. That's, that's the, majesty, the majesty, the, the majesty, the power, the awesome the power. power. Yeah. So, if you want to win the democratic race by a neck, you need the people to back you. And if the people hold the power, are the people in power? pro the powerful precept of people power. What does democracy in Scotland mean to you? Well, I think it's a, it's a beautiful thing. It's the great leveller. Yes. People in every part have got a right to be heard. I've got to say. Equality. That's what it means. That's what it is. Democracy. And that's why everybody should vote. Democracy to me means uh, people giving their honest views about what they believe, campaigning for what they believe, trying mm. to persuade people for what they believe, and trying to take the country with us to try and deliver change that can make a difference to people's lives. Well, it's, it's a bit like this. We can have uh, an ex exchange of ideas. All the parties put forward their proposals, their manifesto, what they want to do, what they think is wrong about Scotland at the moment and they want to improve, and then we leave it up to the public to decide. Uh, and uh, there is no better example of democracy than that. Even when you lose? Someone's got to lose. So to me, democracy means governing by consent, gotcha. which means that you have to check in with people periodically to see how you're getting on. So we hold regular elections so that we can hold politicians accountable and let them know if we think they're not doing a good job. What does democracy mean to you? Scottish it's democracy. basically when people vote for me. Yes, but not for other people. <laughs> well, so you know, the, the, the essence of democracy is that they can vote for who they like. Obviously, I think I'm democracy... I'm glad you cleared that up. I thought you were saying that they could only vote for you. Democracy, I think, works best when yes. people vote for me. But that's just a personal that's, opinion. I, I, can't, I can't have an opinion on that one way or another. I have to sit in the face. I can see it in your eyes. I have to sit in the face. <laughs> no, you can see nothing in my eyes. <laughs> I can see clearly now that the people hold the key. So, I need to find out what really matters to real people in a real place like this. Alloway Bowling Club. Home to regulars James, Ray, Mary, and Nancy. Instantly, I put them at their ease. Oh, good afternoon, good afternoon. Good afternoon. I want you to relax. I'm not arresting anyone here. <laughs> I'm not. Thank God for this that. This is not a bust. <laughs> OK? Bowls, this is, this, this is a game of, game of kings, I've always said. And it's the only game where I could be junior champion, which is why I'm <laughs> absolutely delighted. To be here. And we're here doing this uh, programme on democracy. Democracy is what we're talking about all today. All for that. All for that, all for democracy. That's a good thing. So no fascists then no. amongst <laughs> us. And uh, what are the big issues for you guys in this forthcoming election? What can we do with the bank rate going up a wee bit? The bank rate going up a wee bit, yes. So keep that there. Old people can get more interest in their capital. If you're happy to talk about it, where do you all stand on the issue of independence? Oh, Start with you, sir. Totally against it. Totally against it. And the reason I'm totally against it yes. is because I have four sisters 
and two brothers and they all live in England. And I wouldn't want to be a myself. From your point of view, why are you supporting it? I'm not sure how it would work, but I would think it would, can't be any worse than what's going on down south. Now we're getting into the nitty gritty. You so see, you're an anti and you're for, and this is the majesty of democracy. Yeah. Yep. And do you ever, maybe we just have a game of balls to decide it. Small circle to the inside, whatever delivery. Small circle delivery. to the inside, and so we go that way. That's it. Oh, that's, that's going to be really? not too bad. Oh my goodness. In fact, I think you're going to take the jack. Oh. Right, thank you very much, everyone. <laughs> I shall retire now. It's been very nice seeing you. One shot, that's all we did. <laughs> Goodbye now. <laughs> Democracy is just like lawn bowls. The ball has a built in inherent bias. Like a politician, it can go left or it can go right, all in pursuit of every man jack of us. But the burning question is. Will they bowl us over, or will they be ditched? The bowlers hit some hot topics. But I didn't want to go in too heavy too soon with the leaders. People forget politicians are people too, not me. I wanted to discover the real people beyond the rosettes. A little bit about your personal life. You were a yeah. dentist, is that I correct? was. I was a dentist. And where were you a dentist? I was a dentist in Paisley. Paisley? Oh, you like a challenge then, a yeah, dentist was, No, very, Paisley. very challenging, very challenging. Was the problem terrible teeth or was, was the issue more no teeth at all? What, what was the main yeah, thing It in probably Paisley? started off as terrible teeth and ended up with no teeth. And no teeth. And can you actually do your own teeth as a dentist? I tried that once, didn't no, work out well. didn't work out. Nobody can look at this and think a professional hairdresser <laughs> has been anywhere near it. There's all sorts of conspiracies that I'm having. I've got a secret hairdresser. Really? Yeah. Are you doing it all yourself or well, is your I mean, husband involved? My husband has been involved, yeah. You see the problem? How have I you been cutting your hair during I, the pandemic? I bubbled. I bubbled with Jean. So she... She yeah. shaves me. <laughs> and she razors me. <laughs> Too much know. information. No. Tell me a little bit more about this question of being in the circus. I'm a circus student. I just do it as a hobby. But I did, I was lucky enough to study full time uh, with the circus school in Glasgow. You don't do the hanging I, upside down catching people things, do you? I, I Could do. you catch Patrick Harvey, do you think? I would love to catch Patrick Harvey. I'd love to get the, the green you? MSPs onto the flying trapeze rig. Who would be driving the clown car, do you think? In the, in the parliament, I'm imagining, I'm just suddenly seeing it now, parliament as a circus, with you up there on the trapeze and uh, Douglas Roy. Who would have the... Who would be driving the old clanky car and popping the horn? Murder Fraser. You're a man for a photo shoot, a photo op. I've seen that. Big deck chairs. Chess set. Big chess set. Big chess you know. set. You know it's essential travel only. It's not, you can't. <laughs> you, it's a set. Well, it is essential to play chess. I disallowed a Hibs goal when it was clearly onside. One of my worst decisions ever. Is there any way we could cancel this interview? I, I didn't realise the boy had stiffed the Hibs. <laughs> did we win? I can't you did. remember. You did. Oh, we won anyway. Yeah. It's fine. This election isn't just about our big cities. I'm sliding all Scotia under the Meeklesonian microscope. What matters in Elgin is as important as what happens in Edinburgh. Indeed, more important. Actually, let's not go bonkers. Elgin and Edinburgh are eeksy peeksy. For me, it's crucial the rural voice gets an eeksy peeksy hearing. That's why I've come to Kinkeld Bridge to listen and learn from expert gilly Sandy McIntosh. Lift the rod. OK. Bring it forward like that. And roll wow. it out that way. Well, Sandy, thanks for bringing me down to this uh, beautiful part of the world. Where are we? Uh, we're on the River Arne in Perthshire. Yes. 15 miles from the sea and 15 miles from the loch. Tell me a little bit about the history of the ghillie. What, what, what exactly? Where's the word come from? What's the, where did the job start? Well, it, it's a very old occupation in Scotland. It's a Gaelic name for a servant or, or, or ah. a retainer. Particularly the, the, uh, the chiefs would have ghillies. I feel with an affinity with you, sir, because we're both in the business. We're hunters. Yes. Really, we're catch. I catch criminals. Yes. You catch fish. Um, like me, do you, have to, do you have to release them after a weekend in the cells, uh, as it were? Well, we, uh, we release them without the, the visit to the cells uh, yes. and as uh, quietly and, and quickly as we can. I do sometimes wish with the bams I could just get a wee tap on the back of the napper with one of these wee rods of yours, but I, I, 
you know. Those days are gone. Well, I'm those delight, days are gone. delighted. And it's, a good, and it's a good thing, too. I love the countryside. I absolutely do. I mean, two nights, maybe, maximum, and then I do need to get back to civilization. But yeah. you you actually live here. I mean, it's, your whole life's a, yes. a weekend away, isn't yes. it, really? Well, I'm six days on the, on the river here, about 50, 50 weeks a year. So there's the election coming up. What are the big issues for you with this election, if there are any? Well, um, we are worried... Uh, uh, certainly as far as I'm concerned, uh, about wildlife hereabouts. Um, we have a lot of wildlife, some of which we're not too keen on, uh, and other wildlife that we're very keen on, which doesn't seem to be protected or looked after in the way that uh, a lot of gillies would like. Uh, we have diminishing salmon runs and sea trout runs. Most people are city dwellers, town dwellers, yes. and are well, maybe not as well informed about the problems of the countryside as one would wish. Free bus travel, but talking about that, would you welcome hordes of teenagers descending on the countryside? Well, we had a lot during lockdown, oh, and okay. uh, yes. if they're decorous young ladies wearing skimpy uh, bathing costumes, oh. they're welcome here any time. Or gentlemen, or gentlemen. Or, I, well, I think, well, in the interest of balance, sir, I don't think we could just uh, say that it's the decorous young ladies. It goes both ways. Yes. Thank you for pointing that yes, out. Yes, exactly. When it comes to preserving the planet, no one is more into protection than me. I'd wrap it in cling film if it was practical or wasn't such a biohazard. Scotland is a land of outstanding beauty. How do we preserve all this without it turning into one giant honking open-air toilet? How do we preserve Scotland as an Eden, not a latrine? Declare a nature emergency struck yeah. me. That's quite something. Are we going to... Is that a 999 issue? Am I going to be involved in dragging apart, you know, murder hornets and jock wasps? Or is that a bigger issue than, than insect uh, uh, violence? We're losing species almost every day of the week. Yes. And we need to make sure that we protect the number of species. You create That's... variety that allows the bugs and the bees yes. and the ants and all those well, to... To flourish. It's interesting hearing a Liberal Democrat talk about endangered species, you know, because... <laughs> just, you know what I mean? Maybe yeah, well, we could... We have an affinity. We have an you affinity. Ha beca you, you, we could maybe have, you know, national parks for Liberal Democrats. You would have to have many of you them. You would have to have many. Because there's so many of us. Roaming free. Yes. It's not optional. We, we have to save the planet. Yes. You know, it's the only one we've got. Is there any way that you could save a little bit of the planet? Because, again, you might be out of a job if you save the whole planet. I'm very happy to be out of a job because then we can go and do more fun and interesting things. How can we save the planet in, uh, in three words or less? Reduce carbon emissions. There we go. It can be done. It can be done, uh, Chief. Excellent. We can do this. We've put targets that we're looking to, yes. uh, to meet. Yes. Uh, and part of that, a lot of the work will be around COP26. Is everybody going to come on a bicycle? How are we going to do that? Going to be, how are we going to zero emission the COP? Uh, from so the if Air Force One comes in, I mm. think the President still has to use his limo. Yes. But others might come on a Beyond a that. Yeah. North Sea oil, stop it, or move, or well, keep, got, keep with it. Well, we've got to transition away from it. Yes. Transition away from fossil fuels uh, to renewables. But you have to make sure that as you do that, you don't create a gap in your energy. And of course, we've got to be careful that we don't make people who work in oil and gas immediately redundant. We've got to transition them into new jobs. Well, we could make them put it back, the stuff that we've already taken out. That, that might be, be difficult. I think it's a I bit tricky. That's it's a bit tricky. It yeah. is, but it's blue sky thinking. Yeah. But you're going to be net. policing the COP. Climate Change Summit in Glasgow Do you need year. me to do that? I was going to bring yeah, that up. I do, do I absolutely? need you to do that, yeah. Uh, okay. And I think you're also going to have to lead by example. So you're going to have to show what the police are doing to cut emissions. Yes. What so are you going to do? So bic it's bicycling there, I think, is the, is the answer. <laughs> so I, I'm happy to cop COP26. <laughs> and do you, need, do you need me for the posters? Because, I mean, it, with COP26, it kind of lends itself to, you know, the COP. Yeah, COP get, 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 get walking your dog for a few weeks. Do you think? And then we'll think about it. No, I'm not. I am suggesting you, nothing at all. Uh, I just think you've got to be very careful to, what you say you here. You want to these, look your best on these posters. I know. I don't want you out there having to apologise, being fattest here, <laughs> body shaming. Clear, <laughs> clearly, I've, I've touched a raw nerve. <laughs> <laughs> and the big opportunity is going to be COP26 in November. A big policing operation for you. Yes, I'm there. I don't know why you tap the belly there. Well, I'm not because sure. I'm going to be on the posters. Just because it says COP. They thought oh, well, oh, they right. might as well have me on it. I know it's climate, but so, you know. Oh, you, you, what, you, you prefer cop to police? Do you use a bit of Americanisation of the service there? Cop, police. I'm happy. I'm happy with everything right. other than pig. As a Muslim that doesn't eat pig, I completely. No, understand. of course, yeah, yeah, yeah you don't. I'm anti-pig. You're com completely. Totally. No. Totally. Totally. Pro, pro police, but anti-pig. But anti-pig. Yeah. 
When we welcome the world for big events like COP26, what image do we project? Do we protect and serve everyone equally? In statuesque Edinburgh, I'm getting the word on the street from award-winning rapper Nova Scotia, The Truth. Yo, it's 30 minutes after the show Who's got the blow? I got my own crow And I know where to go It's that floor free Got my name on the list So, eat. so Nova, I understand a little bit of success has come your way recently Album of the Year Yeah, one Scottish album of the year A Scottish album of the year Well, congratulations from uh, myself, Gene and the entire uh, police force Policing the whole hip-hop scene in Scotland has been pretty benign for us There hasn't been a big Ian and Tupac East-West Coast scenario <laughs> thus far in Scotland. I'm delighted about that. So is it pretty safe out there on the streets? Yeah, for some, for most. Yeah? For most, yeah. Is your music political, Nova? Do you see yourself as a political artist? Um, yes. I mostly like identity politics, so, yeah, things to do with gender, race and yes. class and stuff like that. There was just a report uh, published in the past few days that claimed that Britain has no uh, structural issue with racism, which I find to be unbelievable. <laughs> like, yes. I don't really know how they could find that, but... So, yeah, there's a lot more that can be done, I'd yes. say. A big issue this year has been the tearing down of statues. Where do you stand in that? Leave them up or label them to give them context or tear them down, chuck them in the channel? Uh, I certainly found it very thrilling when they dragged down the... Statue in Bristol. I'm not, I'm not against taking them down, I don't think. We're putting them up. All right, it's a disgrace out there on the Edinburgh streets. There's only a statue of one woman, and that one woman is Queen Victoria. So who <laughs> would you have? I was have? thinking that uh, Katie Tunstall would be quite a good uh, one. Oh, yes. A great Scottish woman, so she would be quite cool. Katie Tunstall, yes. Or perhaps the statue could be of Nova Scotia the Truth for winning uh, Album of the Year. Would you be happy with that? Yeah, I'd love that. Although that, that's what I like to see, ambition. <laughs> it would be cool. It would be cool. And to be honest, it's something I'm agitating for, for myself, <laughs> actually. I do feel if anyone should be a top of column, it should be me. Whether tearing down or putting up statues to protect democracy, we, the police, have to work together with them, the MSPs, to keep our hoods beef free. Time to focus on my three favourite words, law and order. Zero tolerance against all forms of discrimination. Zero tolerance. All forms of discrimination. All humans are human. Yes. My problem is my job is actually to discriminate. <laughs> I, I have to discriminate against BAMs. Could we have, is there wriggle room there that I'm allowed to discriminate against someone breaking the law? You're allowed to, uh, to help people feel the consequences of their actions, certainly. Yes. Treating drug misuse with compassion. Mm. Again, tell me, talk me through that. You've been to Portugal. Of course. To... Yes. Instead of a drug user going to court, they go to this commission. And the commission says, right, we're going to order you to have this treatment. And they have to go through that treatment. Yes. So it's like a penalty of sorts. Penalty of sorts, but it helps. Rather than being. Well, that would help prison. me, frankly. It would. Because it would, it would reduce crime. It would. Because I'm, I'm absolutely. I'm 100% with you, you know, until some junkie steals my telly, then I'm a, I'm a wee bit more hardcore. You're not used to interviewing guys like me, particularly, you're, you're not used to interviewing someone with brown skin and they're not a suspect. So, well, I mean, that, I mean that, that, that's, a, that's a new feeling yeah, for you that's altogether. A, no, I, I, we, that's absolutely not. Okay, we like to keep all our targets going, you know, we like to, we, we like to arrest equally across oh, really? the spectrum. Oh, so when you say arrest equally, do you mean motive. like a good proportion of politicians getting arrested of as well? Of course, if you, put, if, you put, if you do the crime, you've got to do the time. If you want to actually pick fault with me, Edinburgh's actually got more crime than Glasgow. That doesn't surprise me. Well, you know, well because, of course, there's people have got stuff to steal in Edinburgh. You know, that's no point, that's no point robbing, who'd rob a place like Glasgow, you know? Be like robbing Poundland, you know? The police have done an amazing job done. as well, and of course we will negotiate a decent pay rise for I was the wondering, as well. That was my yeah. next question, you've spotted yeah. it. I think, and I know, Commissioner, you will agree mm. that we should focus on the lower ranks and give them the biggest increases. I would, I would agree largely with that. Yeah, but don't you think in these really tough times, the, the most senior in any walk of life should be showing the most sacrifice? It's true, and I, and yeah. I have. I've cancelled my Valderrama golf trip, so... Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you but, know what I mean? A, I know. a little pay cut in the interests of the greater good? I mean, I mean if you absolutely think pay that... Pay freeze? 
I, I pay, even if, even if pay for it. But we could discuss that maybe later at the at the review. I don't think now is the arena. I just want to check to that you're up that. for it in principle. I'm 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 not against it. Good. I think it's important to lead by example. Your pay rise mm. uh, and that of all police officers is very close to my heart because my wife's a police officer, oh. speaks very highly of you. When I she was filling realize. in her promotion papers the other day, she says, this guy is very good. So just remember that. I when the, remember that when yeah, it comes through. When it comes What's across your... Again? Crystal. Crystal Ross. Crystal Ross. Oh, right, that Crystal Ross. Of course, I know her very well. An extraordinary police officer. Just send them my best. And, and really, extraordinary the karaoke. <laughs> I tell you honestly, at the, at the Christmas party, who's, who's first up? Crystal Ross. I'm married yeah. to the job. Following the latest guidelines, we Scots are gradually emerging from our homes to appreciate the outside world again. Before that, when we were stuck inside, we adapted to spend more time in the digital sphere. Is Cyberspace a good place for the people? Or should the people log off? To find out more about the digital dimension to democracy, I'm sharing my digital expertise with online gamer and broadcaster, We Claire. Well, welcome. I'm delighted to be joined by... Oh, sorry. I don't... Uh... Gene normally does uh, setting up with the Zoom calls. I'm... Uh... Just to explain to you, I am <laughs> Chief Commissioner Kevin Nicholson. I'm not a bunny. Um, if I could just, I think it might be. Is it... Ah, no, there we go. They've gone. That's it. Hello, I'm delighted to be joined uh, by Claire Lim. And I understand you trade under the name at We Claire. Yes, I do indeed. Yes, sir. Are you are you quite we on a scale of Katie Tunstall and Little Kim? Where do you where do you sit? And possibly not on brand. Um, oh. I'm actually very average height. I'm five foot five. Um, and you're in the digital world. You are a presenter, a podcast, a writer, a twitcher. Yes, I'm a Twitch partner. Twitcher. Yes, it's basically just live streaming, and I live stream shows, chat to folk, and uh, sometimes play games as well. It's a bit of a community experience, but digital. Back in the day, it was very much you know you'd get a boy in the chip shop playing asteroids. You know, I'm going back to about 1985, and four of his drunk pals would be watching him playing Asteroids. And I guess that's the... In my day, that was the equivalent of twitching. What would be the issues in this forthcoming Scottish election? Uh, free computer games? Oh, well, I definitely think for Scotland and just around the country in general, I think health is a very big issue because yeah. of what's been happening in the last 12 months. And I think we absolutely need to plough it all of our time and energy into making sure the healthcare system is running and it is strong. There's a recent report that was suggesting that video games, of which you play a lot, are actually good for mental health. Well, if you watch how much I swear when I'm playing Mario Kart, or Swerio Kart, as I like to call it, it's very cathartic, I have to say. You can play with other people, and it's been a way in this tw last 12 months that I've connected to other people and communities online, and it's made me feel less alone in those times where I felt really low. So I would say uh, gaming communities and video games are actually really important for folk that feel isolated. Is there anything that the political community could learn from the online community? Yes, I think there's a lot more listening that needs to be happened on, happening on the ground, you know. Um, and I think that goes across the board, not just in politics, but in media. I think there's a lot of things happening on the on, in the online world and issues being talked about and lots of different types of people coming together. You know, lots of different personalities, personality types, people from all sorts of diverse backgrounds coming together to talk about these issues. And I think sometimes politics and the media in general are slightly behind. So, listen more. Is that what you're hearing? I couldn't quite hear you, but I think that's what you were saying. We clear. It's been an absolute pleasure. Anything you'd like to finally say to the nation before we go? Embrace democracy. Yes. And good luck. Mwah. As we, Claire, touched upon, we can embrace democracy, but we cannot embrace each other yet. As we go from new, new normal to normal, old school, normal, normal, what are the party's plans as we move towards a post-pandemic Scotland? The most important issue for me is getting the country through this big crisis, you know, uh, if I can be serious for a moment, that's yes, what I've can. tried to do every day for the last year. It's been tough for everybody and we're not out of it yet. Yes. Covid is still with us. 
it's, it's it's down but not out and we need to take really big decisions over the next wee while. The biggest issue for me is focusing on our national recovery and getting our country back on track after COVID. The idea is that particularly people who've done really well during the pandemic, who've made billions, yes. probably should be paying their fair share to help us recover from the pandemic. What we need to do is get the virus down. Yes. Then you can relax things. I think this is where there's consensus. Everyone I've been speaking to says the same thing. Yeah. All the leaders, get it down. I didn't agree with what Dominic Cummings did. Yes. I thought driving to test your eyesight was... That's when you got it, yeah. yeah. Bit dodgy. I thought if the, the Chief Mickelson pulls him over and that's the excuse, I know what the Chief would do. Bang him up. Exactly. Bang to rights. Yeah. Get him in that cell. We're getting all our jabs. If we'd still been in the EU, we'd have been lagging behind. Mm. It's, surely it's a good thing we got out. It's not been their finest moment not in Europe. But maybe if we had been there, we would have Maybe we, we would we have... could have helped to make it. That's a good answer to that question, because, you know, without the great British know-all... I know. Exactly. Scottish nouse. <laughs> exactly. Well, we'll sort out there. We could just puff our chest we'll out. puff our chest and out and go here. solve all yeah. known problems. Bang! Have your jab. Do you not find the masks make it harder to identify the BAMs? Very, very, very difficult. I mean, we, we kind of got the idea of masks from the BAMs, really. I mean, they, they, were, they, were, they were way ahead. Pre-COVID, I think I'm very much, when the mask's on, I, th I just think I'm a wee bit more impressive. Mas where'd you, where'd mask on and hat on? Oh, yes, hand hat on. So, so, so the mask on, the hat on, you're very handsome. Exactly. Hides more there, of your face. There's very little on Hides me. more of your face. Well, are you a top half or a lower half yeah. man in your face? Well, no, very much top half. You're yeah. top, you're not it's happy uh, with the lower half? It's just hiding a bit the, the extra. Oh, it's a little bit yeah. of that. Uh, yeah. you got a couple more. Yeah. Yeah, we got two jobs, you might as well have two chips. You know what well, I'm saying, man? So, so I better not get a third job and then have no, a third I, Well, exactly. Yeah. Now, uh, staycation is a big issue this year. Uh, I don't think we're going to be able to get away to Europe. Where would you uh, staycation in this great nation of ours? Well, uh, my favourite place to go in Scotland is Orkney. One summer I worked up there for the whole summer and it's glorious. Scarra Bray, the beautiful beaches, the turquoise water. Can't recommend it enough. Perfect. Well, listen, I'm due to go up there, so if you want to jump in the chopper uh, in the summer, then I'll give you a ride. In the chopper, Chief? You mean by the, oh, we, sorry, by we, the ferry? We'll bicycle Possibly to the train to the ferry, we'll yeah. We'll bicycle there, and then we'll swim <laughs> across the sound. I'm delighted to hear it. You and I. <laughs> so much to consider. So much to appreciate. So much to digest. Now, I want to hear what matters to young Scots. Ern and Josh are members of the Scottish Youth Parliament. They channel the democratic voice of tomorrow's Scotland today. And I'm far from yesterday's man. Just let you know, pronouns, I'm he, him, chief. OK? <laughs> so the Youth Parliament, please, explain to me exactly what that is. We're the democratically elected voice of Scotland's young people aged 12 to 25. Um, so there's 166 MSYPs from across Scotland um, where we represent um, every Scottish parliamentary constituency. But we also have 11 national voluntary organisations that have MSYPs as well, including Haggai um, that represent like visually impaired young people and LGBT Youth Scotland. So we've got like, a broader range of um, inclusivity and representation. Uh, issues. What are the big issues for, for you? Um, I'm really passionate about period poverty um, and I was involved in the Free Period Products Bill in Scotland. The first, we are the first nation in the world, which is uh, tremendous news. And that, you would have been part of that success, no doubt. I gave evidence on that bill, which is pretty exciting. Yes, it's tremendous news for us because sanitary products was something that everybody stole in the past, you know what I mean? It, it, it works out for, for, for everyone that needs them and also works out for me because it keeps the crime figures down. <laughs> so that's... That's a, what we call in the business a win-win uh, situation. Mental health, it's a, it's a huge issue. I, sometimes I worry I do things too well. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I it's mean? It's a stressful that, job. It's a yeah. stressful job, and people don't seem to understand that. Uh, mental health is one of the biggest issues uh, facing. I think I would say there's two pandemics going on right now. There's the COVID pandemic and the mental health pandemic. And fortunately, we've got a vaccine for one, but we don't have a vaccine for the mental health pandemic. So I think, like, politicians... That's, that's sounding like a politician. Yeah, that's a sound bite. That, that was a sound, a sound bite. bite right there. <laughs> I'm getting myself started. Um... <laughs> Beautiful. Social media. Very big for the young people, I know this. I... And it's difficult for someone of my age to keep abreast of developments. I, so I don't use it myself. Do, do you have a Twitter account? Yeah, but I use TikTok more these days. More of a TikTok? TikToker. Yeah. I say that, but I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> Is that the one where people dance to Cardi B? Yes. Ah, OK, yes, I do know that. 
I only know that because Jean likes to dance a wee bit to Cardi. Jean's got good taste. Then. Jean's got yeah. good taste, yeah. Lizzo as well. She likes to do a wee bit of Lizzo. Oh, I love Lizzo. Oh, well, who doesn't love Lizzo? Yeah. I mean, I do my hair toss a chip my nails. I mean, that's what I do. Lizzo's the energy I want to give out in life. I want to give out Lizzo energy. Lizzo, that's... I think you're right. I think if... You know, I think if Lizzo was standing for the Scottish Parliament... We need more of that positivity in politics. Elected a landslide, yeah. I know. Any, any males that we'd throw into the mix there? Oof. I think... From... I think there's enough of those. There's enough? Yeah, yeah. To, yeah Basically, yeah. we're full. Yeah. <laughs> full of yeah. At capacity. <laughs> well, we're at capacity, yeah. yeah. Exactly. Delete! <laughs> Delete the men. Mm. I'm getting more. No uh, that's no, no offence. No, I'm, I'm totally fine with that. <laughs> You're totally fine. That chat with Ern and Josh has invigorated me to quiz the parties on their promises. Have they got Lizzo, Wizzo, and Nizzo, Dizzo, and Nizzo energy? Free public transport for all? Yes. Wouldn't that be great? It would, it would be great. The only one downside, I think, is I live near Cramon Beach and it's lovely and you don't really want a bunch of people from Airdrie coming in, you know, for free. Could we restrict the travel destinations? Free travel for all, but you can only go to certain places. <laughs> I'm not sure I could get behind that policy, though. Okay. I'm, I'm big on the free movement. Of You're big on the free movement. Free laptops for all school well, pupils. Is that, is that realistic? It is very realistic, yes. Um, do you know, when I was at school and obviously quite some time before that when you were at school. I mean, you probably still had slate and chalk, yeah? Oh, oh. But when I started none school... None taken. When I started none school, taken. you got a jotter and pencils. Yes. Because you couldn't have done your work well, without that. Well, well. But these days, a, a tablet, yes. a Chromebook, a laptop, yes. that's what kids need to learn. We're not going to use the algorithm this year, are we? That, that no, didn't really No, the know. algorithm but is gone. Please tell me. We're not it's using gone. the algorithm. It's going to be teacher assessment, um, and there'll be guidance for teachers to do that, but the teachers will assess what grade the kids should get. A few people's regretting that. I should have been a wee bit nicer. <laughs> well, you know, you know there's, a, there's a moral. I always like to know about what the slogan is. What's the Lib Dem slogan really, for this time? Really simple. Three yeah. words. Three words. Put recovery first. But that's achievable. It is. You know, whereas your last one, no to Brexit. Mm. How did that one go? Not so good. Not Aye. so good. But it was on the verge of victory. It so was there. It was almost there. It was cusping. It was, it was cusping victory, it was. wasn't it? Joe was almost Prime Minister. Joe she was, was... She was almost. She was almost Prime Minister. She was almost an MP. She was, see, <laughs> But not close, quite. That close. She was that close to yeah, both. I know. What, what's going on the side of the bus shelters this, this campaign? Yeah, well, we want to end division. Yes. We want to have no referendum yes. so we can rebuild Scotland. End division, no referendum, Rebuild Scotland. Rebuild Scotland. So it's quite. It's not exactly get Brexit done. It's a bit more. It's like Anna Karenina. It's a wee bit longer. It's than, a wee bit longer. But yeah. not. But hugely. we're using small typeface, so it fits in the same space on so, the bus shelter. Okay. Giving the people the ability to recall their MSPs. Yes. Is that because they can't remember who they are? Uh, well, sadly, they can remember who some of them are, and they've been naughty boys and girls. <sighs> Sorry to recall, not recall, remember. No, no, no. Gotcha. NHS. Yes. The heroes. The NHS funding. Should it be? Should there be more funding for the NHS? Well, absolutely. I know you end up getting a lot more people coming through your door, partly because the mental health services aren't there. Exactly. And you're having to go and, you know, pick up some of that flack. That's and, priority and, for And me. I would rather you were watching your Netflix rather than, yes. rather than having to do that. Do you I watch like, much box sets? I do, actually. Do you have time? Yeah, I, like, I like a bit of Cobra Kai, you're, you're into the karate kid. Yeah. How to get away with murder, have you ever seen that? You should watch that, that'll, no. be, that'll be interesting for you. No, no, you are getting young again here. Scooby-Doo, do you like Scooby-Doo? <laughs> <laughs> I love Scooby-Doo. Yeah, My well, favourite was Scrappy, of course. Well, who, who doesn't love Scrappy? Yep. No, Scrappy was terrible. Moving on from pledges and policies, let's look at the X Factor. How does our voting system work? Confused? Fear not. Maybe you could explain to me the difference in, in, in the Scottish election. I understand it perfectly uh, well, but for I'm, the layman at home who doesn't uh, follow you, things as closely as I do. You, you, you have basically, you have two votes, two un, votes. unlike in a Westminster election. So that's the first thing, it's not one man, one vote, it's one man, two votes. It's two votes, one person, one... And, one, and, and, one person. A, a person, two, one, two, two votes. So you, you, have man, a, you have a first vote, which is first past the post, Yes. and then you have a second vote, which the 73 members first past the post, okay. 56 members grouped in regions around Scotland, and you, you vote for a list. Yeah. These aren't necessarily the diddies in the party, these are, these are perfectly respectable. These are, they, are they often the same, the, they're often the same diddies as, as are standing... For, 
for the constituency elections just oh, at the, stand, the standing in, in, in Diddy. You can actually have a Diddy in the you, main you seat. You stand, well stand for the constituency and then you're standing as Diddy, Diddy number two. Diddy in, number two, you're in, back up in Diddy. List. It's like an each way bet, if you like. It's an each way bet. So you have, you have these regions. But then if they're both Diddy's, it's not really an each way bet. You're getting a Diddy either way. Uh, or, or you're getting an expert either way. You could get an expert. I yeah, got you now. So so it's, it's either vote Diddy. In an ideal world, nobody's a Diddy. No. So you vote once for a constituency seat. Winner takes all, that's it. First past the post, simply. In the yeah, list, it's not like that. The lists around Scotland are used to balance right. the vote. So the vote might come out unfairly. You get a certain percentage of the vote in the, in the constituencies, but right. you don't get that percentage of seats. So the second one is counted right. using the de Haunt method of calculation. Oh, de Haunt. Oh, I have to stop uh, you there. Yeah, I, yeah, of yeah. course, no. Yes. I, 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 we, on the Christmas raffle, we use the de Haunt. Uh -huh. uh, system, but for those at home who, who don't know, aren't as familiar as uh, I am with the Dahon, a professor of Sophology who, who's, who's, whose expertise is designed. So yes. the second Sorry, just, one just balances the, the first. Just for people at home, I know Sophology. I'm, I'm a Sophologist myself. I'm just... vo vo voting tactics. Voting vo tactics. Voting, right, voting, right, voting technology, voting, voting system, and a counting uh, method as well. So you and count the second vote to counterbalance the first vote. Gotcha. So your list, MSP. It's not first past the post, no. but it's not second past the post. It's not I, second past the post, and it's not a second choice. You, you can vote for the same party on the, the first vote as you vote on the second. What happens is they take the number of seats you get on the first vote, out, out of that, across this, this region. It's gotten divided up into right. regions. And then they say, right, we take that and we add one. So see, if you get one seat first past the post, you add one, and that is your divisor for the, 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 the system that is used, the algorithm, basically, that There's is used. Algorithm. There's an algorithm. Okay. Algorithm used to work out how many seats you get on the list. So you take one plus one and divide your total number by two, takes this the haunt calculations and says, right, you're entitled to this number of top-up MSPs. So it's used as, as a balance. It's, it's a mechanism to make things fairer and to give Scotland the parliament she gotcha. voted for. There it is, Scotland. Symbols. And as the horses of democracy run free, may the best steed win or get there through an algorithmic, sophological, to haunt balance system. Remember, your party seats could go down as well as up. Please vote responsibly when the fun stops. Stop. Your democratic rights have not been affected. A Scottish election offers voters a choice beyond the so-called Big Five parties, SNP, Conservative, Labour, Green and Lib Dem. It's an all-you-can-eat banquet buffet of options. The menu of parties includes Alipa, All for Unity, the Freedom Alliance, Reform UK, the Scottish Family Party and UKIP. As with any smorgasbord, another individual selection might turn your stomach, and your dish of delight might make someone else dry bulk. My advice to you is to concentrate on your own scran and not pick away at your neighbour's plate. Bon appetit and fill your bus. Yes, there's a sizeable list of parties on the ballot, and one of the more familiar faces that belongs to one of those parties belongs to George Galloway. Is there a greater country than this? God's own country. God's own country. Look at it. Who's is going it? to run it after May? Who's that is the question. Now, of course, we've met before, George. At times I'd be escorting you as a, as a VIP, but other times I think I might huckle you. You lifted me. I lifted you lifted yes, me, me outside the base at Faz Lane. You were only a sergeant then. If I was a young boy. Uh, yeah, yes, but uh, I, I conducted yes. the only ever interview given to the BBC upside down because you were carrying me to the van and thence to Greenock Jail. I got, it was a difficult day for me, because I was arrested just because I thought you were bringing weapons. That was, the, that was the problem. But I was a young man, I was a young man. What was I to know? Exactly. No yes. one could have predicted no. that day no, no, that no. you'd be interviewing me as the chief. Exactly, as the chief, and you as the leader of... Of the Alliance Whatever it is you're leading, I was about to ask you, why are you <laughs> leading now? Because I can't keep up, son. It's, it's a labour reform now. Alliance for unity, all for unity, unity for all, one for all. Hurrah. Unity is the key word. Unity is the key word, yeah. but not in Europe. No. Uh, no. We, we, we believe in Britain, an in independent Britain. No. Okay. Britain, a united one. Uh, you're, you're quite... So you're... In, you're pro-union, but you're also for a united Ireland. Mm. So I'm not, I'm not entirely sure how those two boats stay on the same I canal, think, as it were. Well. I think the key word is united. So, so unity, but not with Europe, and unity, but not with no, the of SNP. We, we, we want to unify our actions where necessary of with course. everybody in the world. We, we yes. have no particular preference yes. for the Franco-German alliance. My programme is called The Chief Does Democracy. 
what, in, if you can, in under 45 minutes, what does democracy mean to you? It's ruled by the people for the yes. people. Uh, and so, the second part of that is as important as the first. If the whole thing depended on my vote, then I'd be for a government of national unity. I'd be yes. for a Labour, Tory, Liberal Democrat government. I wouldn't be in it. I'm too busy. Call us old-fashioned. Yeah. We think Scotland's better in the union. The only thing with the... the maybe a case I'm pushed a wee bit towards independence is if it did happen, then, then we would require a president. <laughs> and I feel... As a certain gentleman it comes towards the end of Dan his Sertan career, Ash. yeah, yeah, a yeah. Dan certain You and exactly. me, both of us would be in the running. I don't have a position, of course, on well, this. I can't. You just have to. to police I it. just, I, I just have to police. I, I, whoever makes the laws, I enforce them. Yeah. The list has a plethora of choices for which box you place your X in, including Scotland's newest party, featuring experienced politician. Kenny McCaskill. Of course, uh, Kenny, we know each other very well. Uh, you were Justice Secretary. Of course, 2007 to 2014, I think. Yes. yes. And in fact, you oversaw the unification of the Scottish Police Force, did you not? That's it. I brought yeah. in the police service and I'm delighted that you're now sitting in charge. Well, What's up? Well, I Great guess pleasure I'm... to meet today. Of course, I was because of you, really, that I've got this job. I mean, not that, you know, not that you. Not that I owe you in any way, I don't think, but uh, but thank you. Anyway. I, I think there was only one man for the job. Too. I yeah. You have a new party. I understand. We just finished doing all the graphics, yeah. and suddenly called in for overtime because they've got to make up new logos for you boys. Absolutely. What's it called? Keeps them on their toes. It's Keeps the Alba toes. party. It is the Alba party. Is it not the Alba? Because I'm hearing different pronunciations. Well, it depends whether you're speaking English or Gaelic. I mean, they, uh, it was put to me that if I'm speaking in French, uh, je reste en Paris. If yes. I'm speaking English, I stay in Paris. If I'm speaking in so, Gaelic, then it's Alapa. And even if I'm speaking in English, then it's Alba. But uh, we don't care as long as people support us. As long as the people support you. And so, uh, you, you are... You, do you speak Gaelic? No, my grandparents no. did, but I'm afraid, as with so, so many, the language was lost. Alba, Alapa... It's, it's obviously you've split away from the SNP. Are you so, such a fan of independence that you're independent from the independents now? What's, what's the game? What's going on? Well, there's a bit of that, I suppose, but we are yeah. trying to deliver a supermajority for independence. We're happy yeah. to support them, but we will add to them because we have to make progress because the uh, threats facing Scotland are severe, as you know. Supermajority sounds good because super, for so long, was a positive word, but I feel with super spreader. No. I, I, I feel that supermajority, you don't want it in the same category as super spreader, do I'll, you? I'll it, need to go away and think about that. That's certainly, I hadn't thought about I that know, a concern. Yeah, so super tax. I'm glad you raised that. We'll, well need to, the, look at that. We're projecting into the future here. We're playing devil's advocate. Mm -hmm. We've got this supermajority. Will there, but there wouldn't necessarily be another independence referendum. That's not really up to us, is it? Well, that's a matter we'll have to discuss with Westminster, but yes. uh, I think the days of Boris Johnson being able to exercise mm. a veto will have passed, and it'll okay. be for the people in the Parliament of Scotland to decide what we do and where we go forward. Technically, though, if we held one a referendum without Westminster's say so, it would be illegal, wouldn't it? No, you can hold no. a consultative referendum. You might remember we had a yes. referendum in Strathclyde many years ago on fluidisation of the water. Yes. Uh, you can't hold a similar one without Westminster's consent, no. but there's other things that we can do. No. All we're really saying is that we're not prepared to go on as we are, suffering under yes. Johnson's dicta. No, and you, you're not suggesting we have a referendum on the fluidisation of water? Oh, no, no. I think no. Uh, I think we've resolved that. We've resolved that I, enjoy, I enjoy Scottish water. I know to Done and done. Scottish water! Scottish. Best water in the world. Absolutely. So what is the future for not just Scotland's aqua, but the Scots who drink it? Time for a deep dive into troubled waters. It's time to talk constitution. I'm going in! You're, you're definitely supporting Indie Ref 2. That's... Yes. Yes. Do you feel that Canada, coming from Canada, you must again feel at home in Scotland in that we've both got annoying neighbours who act like <laughs> our, our bullying big brother, don't we, really? There, there is an element of that, yes, yes, I think so. I think Canadians often define themselves as not American. If it's you and the SNP in coalition, would you take on that position if Nicola was to say to you, come on, be my deputy? 
It would be quite interesting, wouldn't it? There are green parties in coalition with parties yes. in other countries, like New Zealand. The Greens are in coalition with Jacinda Ardern's Labour Party. So it can work. If Nicola was to say to you, OK, be my deputy, would you have to have a cocoa deputy? Or would you, would, at that point, would you say that? Patrick, sorry, mate. I don't know. Patrick You're and I out. would have to figure it out. Maybe we'd have to arm wrestle for it or something. Uh, well, there's a, there's a television show right there. I think I could take but him. June, July, when would you like to get it? Uh, I'm not sure it'll be June, July. No, okay. um, I think we might still have a crisis to contend with then. Yes. Look, when we're out of the crisis and when we can focus on who should take the decisions about our future, and that's a big decision for the future, because we need to decide for ourselves what kind of country we want Scotland to be. But first and foremost, let's get through COVID. What if Boris says, no, you can't have a referendum? I still don't I'm going to send sure you where we stand. Yeah, I'm going to send you to sort them out, basically. But is that what you do? Yeah. I'll go straight down and say, Boris... No, we can't. I'm, I'm you you can't. Look, you're the, I'm chief, your you're the chief commissioner. Yes. You cannot have somebody effectively trying to countermand your democratically elected first minister. Fair I mean, enough. It's, um, it's written in the constitution somewhere, I'm sure. And if it's not... We'll sort that out. We'll bit. sort that out. Yeah. I had no, I, I, so I'm, basically, I'm delighted to be your muscle, so I have to say. I didn't realise I was. Could we do it if he says no? Can we just do it anyway? Basically, if you're planning anything illegal, can you tip me the weight? I, I, I need I, to know. You, you know me, Chief. I'm, right. I'm not going to do anything illegal. No. Right. So there wouldn't be a kind of speakeasies where you can go and you can <laughs> chap at the door. I, I, support, I support us staying in the UK. If we are going to have a recovery that works for everyone, let's push power and money out from Westminster, out to the nations yes. and regions, and out from Holyrood. Out into, from Holyrood, in, into the communities across and the country. Also, oh, devolve even further from. Yeah, why? Why stop at Holyrood? So Holyrood could just be representing Holyrood oh. in the end. What unites us, not what divides us. Is that? Yeah. That's what you believe. Absolutely. It's a little bit airy fairy, a little bit funny. You might get in a tattoo parlour, but that's what you. <laughs> but that's what you, you believe. You should get that tattoo, honestly. How, how far are we going to go? Celtic Rangers. Look, if we can bring together Celtic and Rangers, that just shows yeah. you how good. I mean, maybe I get a job at the UN. If, well, I can, if I can pull that together. If you could pull that um, But if anyone can, I'm, I'm confident I can yes. do it. We'll always agree on 99 things. Yes. But for too often, we always think we have to focus on the one thing we disagree on. Yes. So let's focus on the 99 things we agree on Very. and help change the country along the way. And uh, Labour Tory, a coalition in there? Or is that the one that's thing? The, that, that's the one. Now, that's you're, you're taking the... it far too far now. What if, you were, what if that was to be the case that you could actually become the First Minister, but only... I'm the devil now, you see? <laughs> but only if you go into an alliance with I, Douglas I would, Ross. Would, like, the, like the coalition well, back in the day. I, I would, no? I, listen, you turn that down? I'm no Nick Clegg. You're no Nick Clegg. No Nick no. Clegg. Independence, if we do have a referendum, and there's no guarantee we will, but if we do, um, the last time it was very much no thanks from your side. Will that, be the, will that be the same message or will it be a little bit more forceful? Will it be, we've told you once, no. What would it be? Well, I'd maybe say that to Nicola. We've told you once, no. Oh. Um, but to her face? Have you what? got that kind of relationship? Are you no, doing? no. I, uh, I think she knows. I think she knows what I think yes. uh, about another independent referendum. What if they have one anyway? Where well, are we? Is that, would that be illegal? Would I have to step in? I, I think you should. Oh, really? Think, yeah. Would that be my job? Yep. To Illegal wildcat referendum. I've said Conservatives would boycott that. Um, so and we're looking to the, the law to, well, to back it up. No. Well, that puts me in a very, very difficult position because I've got, you know, my boss who pays the wages on one side of the fence, I got other people going, no, we, we need yeah. to go in and yeah. seize the ballot box but, and close it down. Again, that's where you're paid the big money to, well, to make these that... big, big decisions. We believe in partnership with yes. our neighbours. So the rest of the UK and our colleagues in Europe. We believe in, that's why we're against Brexit yeah. and we're in favour of staying in the UK. And you're one nil down at half time, it has to be said. To, yeah, to, to but very argument. close, remember, it was a... It was very a, close. But in the event you don't win, can you guarantee there's going to be no Trumpian nonsense? There's going to be no storming of Parliament by your supporters. Can you guarantee that to me now? Have you seen the Liberals? <laughs> we, we, we do protest, but, but we do it very politely. I do, yes. What we would do, a Liberal uh, riot actually look like? It would probably involve... Cagoules. Cagoules and sandals. Throwing socks. Somebody doing a bit of knitting in the corner. I could see them storming there, and I just have to change the wee crossing man to red, and they'd all just stop. <laughs> you know, <laughs> very, 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 very well very, behaved. The liberals, very, aren't yeah. they? Riot averted, but Scottish politics remains divided. Does anything bring everyone together? I think so. Whoever you support politically, when it comes to the beautiful game, there's one team. We all want to win. Any advice for Scotland in the Euro, Euro Championships in the, in the summer for the football team? Any advice on uh, how they might uh, attempt to win it? Consistent training, that's, that's my secret for the circus as well. 
training yeah. and practice every day. Try really hard. That's it, That's yeah. It. And you just gotta quite, want it. But you know, actually, right. do you know what I actually really love about football is that people all over the world play it. It doesn't matter where you go no. in the world, the kids will kick a football around. It's exactly. actually brilliant. It's one of those things that's sort of universal to all of humanity. I think it's great. It's, you know, whether we win the Euros or not, yes. let's just be England there. Eh? How would we do that though? Well, we've got lots of we're, left backs. So we're great at left yes. backs in Scotland. We've got Andy Robertson, we've got Tierney. Excuse just pile everything into the left. Pile everything into the left. You know me, I like the left. Pile everything into the Hope left. Hope for the best. Hope for the best. Find a left-footed striker get, somewhere. Get, get a sneaky goal. Beat England. Nothing beats oh. it. It would put everything into context and it would be absolute joy wait, to watch. Wait. I think an inspirational talk from yourself. I think, that, I think that would do. I think, I think the players would rise right. to the challenge. I'm available. I'm happy to do it. What's your advice? How are we going to bring home that trophy? Uh, win matches. Win matches, well, there you, you know, go. That, that would be the best that, way to That's do a it. brilliant answer. That's yep. the best answer we've had. I mean, yep. how, but how? Is the, is the, we get into <laughs> the weeds of it. How do we do that? Score more goals than the other team. Score more goals than the other team. But I tend to watch football matches more for the referee than the teams. The, of course. Yep. Do we dare to dream? Yeah, of course. Big Davy Marshall. Yeah. Keeping them out. Well, you never know. It could happen. Going Hopefully to Wembley. Then. Going to Wembley. I haven't yet been invited. You and me um, at Wembley. So, again, if you're needing some close protection, uh, I could always, you know... What is it? The tradition after the match? We go and rip up the pitch? We do, yeah. yes. That if was... I was with you and you were with me, there'd be kind of mutual protection there. Surely. Yeah. That, that, that would be the photograph of yeah. the ages, wouldn't it? Yeah. You and I swinging from the bar. <laughs> I mean, I'd hoik you up, obviously. <laughs> 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 but, you know, we can... But then I could pull it down, because with my... Yeah, as yeah, we've yeah, established, yeah, with yeah. my extra so weight... Don't just hoik me up. Minister. Just don't leave me there, OK? Just don't leave you there. Yeah, make sure you there get right. me down again. There we go. Get you up there, leave you down, <laughs> then. Okay. We're all on the train back up. First <laughs> Minister! Oh, I forgot the First Minister! Quickly, go back to Wembley! <laughs> Hopefully yeah. it won't come to that. Delirious scenes of joy celebrating a big Scotland win. That is one party we can all get behind. Now... I'm at my journey's end. Having paved your path to the ballot box, like any good cop, I've uncovered the evidence, but now it's time for you to play judge and jury. As we approach May 6th, the stakes could not be higher. I can't vote for you, I wish I could, but it's illegal. And rule one for me is not to break the law if I can help it. You've heard wise words from sensible individuals and earned nonsense from those talking out their hoop. Only you know which is which. You're on your own, and that's democracy. <laughs>